Hi, it's Daniel Wyatt, and welcome to my Ozone 7 Mastering course. This is a course really designed for intermediate and advanced users and mastering engineers. Uh, so I'm assuming a basic knowledge of some of the more basic fundamental concepts here in mastering. Uh, we're using a track today from Ramon Romero, who is a internationally acclaimed prolific producer. So he was good enough to allow us to use his track here. This course is primarily focused on Ozone 7 Advanced, but I did have to throw in a couple friends here, a couple Ozone friends, uh, which is Alloy 2, a dedicated de that I like to use, and also uh, some Ozone 5 reverb for those who just can't give up on using a little bit of reverb in the mastering process. Ozone 7 is limited to six modules, but in mastering, really, sometimes to get a good result, it's the accumulation of lots of little subtle moves that adds up to a great master. So no need to cry here. What we do is create a sandwich of two instances of Ozone 7 Advanced, and then we can also use different plugins as inserts in between them. This way we can use as many Ozone 7 modules as we need, and we can also enlist some special special ops, some special forces like de or like the reverb module, if we so desire. Let's take a look at the order. From left to right, we'll have vintage tape, the equalizer, the new vintage compressor, the traditional multiband dynamics, Dynamic EQ, which I actually don't use in this mastering. It's a very cool plugin. It's more corrective, I think, than sweetening. Since this was a good mix, we really didn't need it this time. The multiband exciter. And then we go to an instance of Ozone 5 reverb. I like a little bit of reverb, typically, as a sweetener in my mastering process. Over here, we have the Alloy 2 de -esser. And this is just a good workhorse de It gets a good result. Um, very, very simple to use, but I, I, I've had so much success with this one, so I wanted to include this as an option. You can create a de in Ozone 7, but I like to have a, a dedicated de -esser. And then finally, bringing up the rear, uh, the Vintage EQ, which is new, pull tech style, very, very cool. We'll get into it. A traditional post equalizer to make final adjustments while you hear the totality of your mastering chain. A imager to adjust the stereo width. Uh, a vintage limiter, which is new, which is more of a sound box than a loudmaker, although it can do both. But it's very, very cool in limiting uh, peak distortion, which makes things a little blurry. It tightens up the image in a nice way. And then finally, the, the big guy here, the maximizer, the thing that really got me into ozone uh, back in the day and a brand new limiter personality a brand new irc4 which is absolutely a huge development in limiting just sounds incredibly good you can make things loud but it's still very dynamic and and just extremely musical so that's the mastering chain uh let's get right into the mastering <laughs> 